Hi there, this is Tatela with Rangers of Wrestling bringing you the wrestling time potion for tonight. I'll be reviewing WWE WrestleMania Backlash. All right, so WrestleMania Backlash kicked off with a rematch, Cody Rhodes versus South African Rollins 2. I have to say, this was one of the matches I was really looking forward to. Great match. There was two spots that I like. Number one, it was when Cody Rhodes clapped for Seth Rollins. Like, there was a spot in the moment he clapped. And then the second spot that I like was when Cody Rhodes, he attempted the pedigree on Seth freaking Rollins. Like, when I saw that, I was just like, oh, my God, is he even for reals? Unfortunately, Seth countered it, so we didn't see Cody Rhodes hit the pedigree. But he did tease it, though. I was shocked when Seth Rollins did the pedigree to Cody Rhodes. I thought it was over right there. I really did. But luckily, Cody Rhodes kicked out. I also, what I also liked was when Seth Rollins was mocking Dusty Rhodes. Like, I think that was a good heel tactic on Seth Rollins' part. And there was just a lot of back and forth on this. There was, there was, there was a back and forth slugfest between both guys. Seth at one point sent Cody Rhodes crashing into the barricade. I really liked that superplex from the top row to Seth Rollins. I also really liked when Cody Rhodes did the clothesline to Seth Rollins. And I liked that he, how he countered the curb stomp. But I have to say, I really like the ending sequence. It was when he, Cody Rhodes hit the crossroads to Seth Rollins. Then Seth Rollins gave him, it looked like it was a thumb to the eye. And then it was another crossroads. So I like that. And then I like the fact that um, Seth Rollins grabbed Cody Rhodes by the trunk, by, the, by his trunks. And you think that was it. But no, what ended up happening was that uh, Cody Rhodes reversed it and he grabbed some trunks, Seth Rollins' trunks, and he got the pin. So I'm so happy and relieved Cody Rhodes was victorious in this match. He needed to be. There was no way he could have lost to Seth freaking Rollins so early. I thought for a second that if WWE would do 50-50 booking and Seth Rollins would win, but no. Cody Rhodes won. Great match. Great way to kick off WrestleMania Backlash. So I don't have a problem with that. With that, then we had almost versus Bobby Lashley, and I have to say, it wasn't a bad match, but it also wasn't the greatest match on this pay per view. So I'm not surprised. Like I really have to say, like my favorite spot in this moment was when Bobby Lashley got the hurt lock on almost. Granted, it wasn't for a long period of time, but that was my favorite spot in that match because of for and. Like, for the most part, like, Lashley had almost, was underwhelming, almost. The other second spot that I liked was when Bobby Lashley put, locked almost in on the ring ropes. So I thought that was a pretty cool spot, too. And in the end, thanks to assistance from MVP, almost was victorious and defeated uh, Bobby Lashley. Then you had AJ Styles versus Edge. It was a banger of a match. Great, great match, indeed. Seriously. Um, but right away after the bell rang. Styles went immediately after Edge. He launched Edge onto the barricade, and then he bounced him off the announce table. Pretty cool combo, if you ask me. I really like that. Cr I really like that one spot where both Edge and AJ Styles did cross bodies to each other, and then both men ended up going down. I really like this one spot where Edge took the turnbuckle off, and AJ Styles sent him crashing into the turnbuckle, and then he went face first. To top it off, he went face first into that turnbuckle. So. There was this spot in the match where Edge, he pulled the turnbuckle out. And then AJ Styles sent him crashing into that same exposed turnbuckle face first. Okay, I know there was a stipulation where if AJ Styles beat Damian Priest, Damian Priest would be banned from ringside. So at one point, Damian Priest does come out, but he doesn't go directly to the ring. Like, he's on the ramp. And he distracts AJ Styles. Then Finn Balor comes out and attacks Damian Priest. But then someone in a mask, it was they're wearing all black and they have a mask on, come out and and sends AJ Styles crashing off the top rope. Edge um wins with that distraction, and it's revealed that it's Rhea Ripley. So I'm not surprised by this because I know FIFO Select had uh, reported that Rhea Ripley was one of the, was going to join uh, Edge's faction. So I'm not surprised by that at all. I was just waiting to see when they were going to pull the trigger, and they did pull the trigger on this. Then we had the I Quit match, Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey. I have to say, it was not a bad match. For what we got, it wasn't bad. I'm really glad we had a clear cut finish. And that Charlotte did say I quit because I thought 
for sure that they was going to want to protect Charlotte and they weren't going to allow her to say I quit, but I'm really glad that that if it had to have been someone, it was it was her. I have to say, I really liked when they started, when they went into the crowd and like Rhonda choked, I mean, Charlotte choked Rhonda with like the railing and she still wouldn't say I quit. I also like that power bomb that she did to Rhonda on the barricade. Oh, but I have to say, my favorite, my favorite, 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 favorite spot in this match was when Charlotte was like dangling on the rope. And then Rhonda put the arm bar in her, and like they were both dangling on that rope. I thought that was a really cool spot and a unique way to do the arm bar. But still wasn't enough to get Charlotte to say I quit though. The, then Charlotte at one point did a natural selection to Rhonda. So the ending said Rhonda got Charlotte to say I quit when she did the arm bar with the chair. Ow, that looked like it hurt. It really did. And so now she's a new SmackDown Women's Champion. And then afterwards, we had a backstage segment with Kyla Braxton, who reported that Charlotte injured her radius. But, but, Fightful Select reported that they were told by WWE Creative that Charlotte would be taking little time off and a kayfabe injury angle was set up for WrestleMania Backlash. So they so this was the kayfabe angle. She injured her radius. And it said that they, they go on to say that they're not told how long Charlotte's absence is and when it's supposed to start and when it's supposed to end. So kayfabe injury, people. She's Charlotte's not really injured. And then we get Mad Cat Moss versus Happy Corbin. Like I I don't know what to say about this, honestly. Like, really. This was like, they should have opened with this. But, I mean, if you want to grab the audience's attention, I'm glad they started with Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. Because they would have kicked off with Mad Cat Moss versus Happy Corbin. I don't think, I think I would have just like tuned out of the pay-per-view right from the get-go. Wasn't a bad match. I've said this before. We'll say it again. Mad Cat Moss is not a bad wrestler, but his gimmick does him no favors. Uh, he he defeats Happy Corbin, and hopefully this is the end of their rivalry. Hopefully we don't continue. That's that. So in the main event, it was a six-man tag match. It was RK Bro and Drew McIntyre versus the Bloodline. Now, originally, WWE was promoting this as a unification match. It was supposed to be RK Bro versus the Usos in a tag team title unification match. And then we ended up getting the six-man tag, which has actually turned out to be a lot better than I expected. So it was Randy Orton and kicking things off. And Drew McIntyre asked for Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns said that he tagged himself in. But then really quickly tagged himself out. Typical heel. At one point, Jimmy cheap shot at Riddle. Then Jay cheap shot at him. And then Roman finally decides to tag himself in. And for a while, Ro uh, Matt Riddle was being dominated by the bloodline. He got sent into the into the ring post for him. Then somehow Reigns and Drew McIntyre exchanged blows in the middle of the ring. And yeah, Roman decided to show off his belt and held up both belts. Um, he had knocked down poor Matt Riddle. Oh, favorite spot. Well, actually, one of my favorite spots was when that claymore when Drew McIntyre finally hit the claymore kick to Roman Reigns. But I have to say my most favorite spot was when Randy Orton did the RKO to Roman. I was not expecting that. I'm so glad we got that little spot. You put Randy Orton went crazy. He gave an RKO to Jimmy too. But Jay ended up saving the match. So. At the end you have Roman Reigns putting everybody down. Drew McIntyre got put through an announce table. Roman got. An Roman knocked out Randy Orton eh, with the Superman punch. Uh, and then he ended up spearing Riddle in the middle of the ring. And the Blenna was victorious. And that was how WrestleMania Backlash ended. A decent pay-per-view. Not too bad, not too terrible. You know, for the most part, the matches were, you know, Cody versus Seth. I like that match way better than the WrestleMania match. The six-man tag match was a lot of fun. I quit match was okay. Just happy we had a good, clean finish. 
Well, actually, almost it was all right. Uh, Corbin Moss, Mad Cat Moss, I could care less about, honestly. I'm over that. So, with that being said, and the fact that this was a short pay per view, it wasn't too bad. Honestly, I'd probably give this pay per view um, 8 out of 10. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't, you know? Not, if we would have only had like one good match, then I probably would have like given it lower. But I, I give it an 8 out of 10. Edge versus AJ Styles was good. Um, Rhea joining Edge's faction, good too. So definitely worked. I'm curious to see what her explanation for joining that faction is. Uh, but yesterday was Impact's Under Siege, and if I had to choose the pay per view of the weekend, I would choose Impact's Under Siege just because I feel like Impact's Under Siege was a little bit stronger than WWE's WrestleMania Backlash. But that's just me. What do you think the um pay per view of the weekend is? Impact's Under Siege, WrestleMania Backlash. If you don't watch Impact. What was your favorite match at WrestleMania Backlash? What match was your least favorite? And let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys all so much for watching. For your continued support, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell so you get notified whenever I go live, I release a new video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow after Monday Night Raw. Bye.